Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse, uh, and today's lesson I'm going to talk about triangle congruency postulates. Basically, uh, we're proving triangles are congruent to each other using postulates. A uh, postulate is a statement of truth found out by experimentation and logic. Uh, basically, over time, uh, people have come up with a combination of five different ways you can compare angles and sides on triangles to prove that two triangles are congruent. Uh, and so it's a statement of truth. Uh, is what a postulate is. And so, uh, triangle congruency statements of truth, basically. And if we can come up with uh, specific combinations of, of sides and angle relationships between triangles, we can prove triangles are congruent. And let me talk more about that here. It says, what is the purpose of this lesson? To prove that two triangles are congruent using the relationships between corresponding angles and sides between two triangles. And so, every triangle has three angles and three sides. That's a total of six angles and sides. Uh, but to compare two triangles and see if they're congruent to each other, uh, you only need to have a combination of three corresponding angles and sides to prove two triangles are congruent. So we went from a total of six angles and sides, but we only need a, a, a specific combination of three angles and sides to prove two triangles are congruent. Uh, and the first one is the side, side, side postulate. Uh, we compare the three sides of one triangle to the three sides of another triangle to see if triangles are congruent. Uh, and we can abbreviate it as SSS uh, using the letters of side, 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 the first letters. And so uh, you might, just for a shorthand, write SSS instead of this side, side, side postulate. Uh, another uh, triangle congruency postulate we have is the side, angle, side postulate, otherwise abbreviated as SAS. We're comparing two sides in an angle of one triangle to two sides in an angle of another triangle to see if they're congruent. Uh, I'm going to go in more detail on these on, on the next few slides. Uh, another example of a triangle congruency postulate is an angle side angle postulate. Angle side angle, abbreviated as ASA. Uh, we're comparing two angles and the side in between those angles with the two angles and the side between those two angles of another triangle to see if those triangles are congruent. The angle angle side, or abbreviated as AAS, we're still comparing only a combination of two angles and sides of one triangle to two angles and another side of another triangle. So and again, all of these, we're comparing a combination of three angles and sides to prove if two triangles are congruent. Down here is the hypotenuse leg. Uh, hypotenuse is used, this is uh, inferred as a right triangle, it's implied. Uh, and so it's not mentioned on there, so you're going to have a right angle here. So we have hypotenuse leg, abbreviated with HL, uh, but that's two sides of a right triangle plus an angle. That still is a combination of three angles and three sides. And again, uh, this is otherwise known as the right angle hypotenuse side theorem. That's the right angle. And then we have two sides here. So we have one, a hypotenuse is just the longest side of a right triangle. So that's still angle and two sides. That's still a combination of three angles and sides. So let me get into the, the nitty gritty part of this. Like what, what are we talking about here? Uh, the side, side, side postulate is if the sides of one triangle are congruent to the sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent by the side, side, side postulate. Uh, we're comparing one, two, three sides of one triangle to three sides of another triangle. And so, for example, if, if, if side AC was congruent to side DF, if side CB was congruent to side FE, and side AB was congruent to side DE, since I have this side congruent to this side, this side's congruent to this side, and this side's congruent to this side, I can prove that since all three sides have a corresponding congruent side on the other triangle, then I automatically know that these two triangles are going to be congruent. Uh, and so we can prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by the side, side, side postulate. Uh, and this is one of the easier ones just because if all three sides are uh, congruent to three sides of another triangle, then those triangles are automatically congru congruent by the side, side, side postulate. Uh, the next one we have here is the side, angle, side postulate. Again, side, angle, side, abbreviated as SAS. Uh, we're comparing one, two sides in an angle of, of this triangle to the two sides in an angle of another triangle. Uh, it says if two sides in the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides in the included angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent by the side, angle, side postulate. Basically, if we have one side, these two sides are congruent, two set of sides are now congruent, and then it says an included angle. An included angle is the angle in between those two sides we're focusing on. We're focusing on this side and this side. Well, the angle between these two sides is this angle here. That is an included angle. Well, if I have an included angle here and another included angle here, 
then we can now prove that these two triangles are congruent by the side angle side postulate. And I'll write it out. This side's congruent to this side. This side's congruent to this side. And then the angle in between those two sides is congruent to each other. Then if I go around here, I spell out side angle side, and I get side angle side. Or I can go the other way, side angle side, and I get side angle side. Again, either way I look at it, because the combination of sides and the angle in between those two sides are congruent, I can prove that these two triangles are congruent by the side angle side postulate. Uh, and, and if we look here, just look at the, the, the wordage. The angle is in between the two sides. The angle is in between the two sides. So if you just look at the, the postulate name, it gives you a hint on where the angle needs to be in the triangle. And so, uh, but compared to the two sides we're, we're focusing on. Uh, moving on here, we have the angle side angle postulate. Again, we're comparing two angles in a side of one triangle to two angles in a side of another triangle to see if they're congruent. It says if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the two angles and the included side of another triangle, then the two postulate, sorry, the two triangles are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. Uh, very similar to the side angle side postulate, but it's kind of the opposite. We're comparing two congruent angles and the included side here. So now uh, we're looking for the, the side that's in between these two angles. If this side uh, is congruent to this side, uh, these are two examples of included sides. Uh, on the previous one, included angle was between the two sides that we're focusing on. Included side is between the two angles that we're focusing on. So this one is talking about included angle. That's in between the two sides. And included side is the side between the two angles. And if I have this side, it's congruent to this side. And let me, let me just write this out with letters. So this angle is congruent, whoops. This angle is congruent to this angle. This angle is congruent to this angle. And the included side on these two triangles are congruent. Then I can prove these two triangles are, con are, are congruent by the uh, angle side angle postulate. And if we look here, if I go one way here, angle side angle, this one also spells out angle side angle. Or if I go the other direction, I still get angle side angle. Over here, I still get angle side angle. And so the side has to be between the two angles. If this side's congruent to, uh, between these two angles to another triangle, uh, then we have the angle side angle postulate. And I can prove in this case <coughs> that these two triangles are congruent by the angle side angle postulate. Uh, this angle angle side postulate is sometimes confusing with the angle side angle postulate. Uh, let me talk about the difference of these on another slide. Let me just talk about this one right now. This one says angle angle side postulate, abbreviated as angle angle side. We're still comparing two angles in a side here, but the side is in a different area of the triangle versus the angle side angle postulate. This one says if two angles in a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles in a non-included side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent by the angle angle side postulate. I'm going to pick the same angles to be congruent to each other as I did on uh, the last slide. Um, and so angle A and D are congruent, angle C and F are congruent, but we're looking for a non-included side. A non-included side is a side that's not in between those two angles uh, that we were talking about. So let's say AB and DE are congruent. Uh, so this side AB is not the included side because it's not in between the two angles we're focusing on. And if I spell it out here, this, uh, sorry, this angle is congruent to this angle, this angle is congruent to this angle, this side is congruent to this side. And if I look at it, if I start at the first A and I go around to the other angle, and then I go to the side here, it spells out angle, angle, side. Uh, versus the last one, the side was between the two angles. This one, the side is not between the two angles. Uh, if I go the other direction, though, I get SAA. Uh, if you, you want to look at the lettering here, if you have two A's and an S, you want to automatically switch it around and make it match up with the angle, angle, side. Uh, and so there's no side angle angle postulate. It's, it's, we flip it around and call it the angle angle side postulate. But I can go angle angle side here. I can go angle angle side here. And since AA, AA, and SS, I get AAS, AAS, then I can prove these two triangles are congruent by the angle angle side postulate. Uh, now let's briefly talk about the differences here. Uh, on the slide, two slides ago, we focused on these angles and but in the side in between these two angles. On the angle angle side, we're focusing on the same angles, but the side is not included in between uh, these two angles. And so this one here, ASA, this one here is AAS. The side is not in between these two angles. 
And so there is a subtle difference here, so be careful. The last one we have here is the hypotenuse leg, uh, otherwise known as a right angle hypotenuse side postulate. It says if two right angles have congruent hypotenuses and congruent corresponding sides, then the two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg or the uh, right angle hypotenuse side postulate. And so we automatically have to have two right triangles. And so I have a right angle here and a right angle here, so I know that this angle matches up with this angle here. And then we're talking about hypotenuse here. So the hypotenuse is the longest side on the triangles, on a right triangle. And then let's say this side here is congruent to this side here. Uh, on a triangle, a right triangle, uh, you call the longest side a hypotenuse, and you call the other two sides that are not the hypotenuse legs. And so that's how they get the hypotenuse leg. If I have a right triangle that has, so we know we have this angle is congruent to this angle, that has uh, the hypotenuses are the same length and one of the two sides is also congruent to each other, then we can call this, uh, these two triangles congruent to each other by the uh, hypotenuse leg postulate. Uh, I could have said, I could have also said, what if this side was congruent to this side? Well, if that's true, and I have these all, I have two right angles, so these angles are congruent to each other, the hypotenuses are congruent to each other, and I have two sides, or these are the legs actually are congruent to each other, then it's going to be proved, you can prove that these triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg theorem. This is kind of funny. If you look around here, you actually spell out ASS. If you spell out the word ASS, I'm not going to say it, and it's a right triangle, it's automatically hypotenuse leg or this other one. If it is not a right triangle, you cannot say it's hypotenuse leg. So you need to have a right triangle that has a hypotenuses are congruent to each other and one set of sides are congruent to each other for this to be uh, proved by the hypotenuse leg postulate. If it's not a right triangle, it is not going to be proved. You cannot prove that two, the two triangles are congruent by the hypotenuse leg uh, postulate. Now, sometimes people get confused by the angle, angle, angle postulate. This is actually not a postulate. It says you cannot prove two triangles are congruent to each other if you only compare their angle relationships. For example, uh, if this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle, and this angle is congruent to this angle, I can't prove that these two triangles are automatically congruent to each other. And, and let me ex explain why. Uh, I can take this triangle here and I can make it bigger. This angle A and D are still congruent to each other. This angle B and E are still congruent to each other. And this angle C and F are congruent to each other. But the side lengths are not the same. So if you ever have three angles are congruent to each other but you don't have any, inf in, any information about the side lengths, you cannot prove two triangles are congruent to each other. This is oftentimes one that people, my students, get confused with and they'll say, hey, I can prove two triangles are congruent by the angle, angle, angle postulate. You can't do that. You cannot do that when we're talking about congruent triangles. Anyways, I'm going to have practice problems on my website, dowshouse.com. Look at the second six weeks worth of videos. Uh, there should be some practice problems here, which will go over this in more detail to help you understand this even more. Hopefully this helps you out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.